Start. Do you, I'm curious, you know, what's what's the feeling like getting back out there? You know, you look back at that, you know, game against Chad Newton. What's it like to finally be back out there playing? Um, I don't know. I, I guess one word that sums it up is finally. Um, you spent eight months away from your team, playing on the floor with them and preparing for games. It just feels good to get back with them and, and be with them on the court physically. Do you feel like 100%? I know I saw you like kind of playing with the brace a little bit, going on the bike in between, you know. Well, I mean, I was on the bike just to stay warm, and I'm playing with my brace. It's just the habit that I created, just fit along with it. So um, nothing's wrong. I feel 100%. I feel great. Uh, I trust myself, and my team trusts me. So, um, yeah. And when you get that first basket, um, you know, just you kind of had a little struggle at the beginning. You know, what's what's the feeling like at the beginning when you're struggling then to finally get that first one? Well, just to just to. Just to make the basket finally, it felt good. I finally put the ball in the basket, and, and I know I could do it. It was just a matter of me doing it. So, yeah. Um, Devin, you know, you know, past couple games, and Q just kind of talked about it a little bit. You've been really going on offensively. You know, how do you feel like you played, especially you know, in that run? I think it was twenty-two to four run when you guys kind of put some separation between you and Cornell. Um, we were just playing team ball, trying to get up and down the court, get some transition buckets. So, I mean, it felt pretty good finally going a little run because we weren't on a run the whole game. So, it felt great. You, you know, what was kind of going on for you guys in the first half? How do you correct it? You know, especially, uh, you kind of took all the players out. You were one of the ones that subbed in right then. We just weren't playing our game. Wasn't running the floor in transition. Wasn't getting after it on defense. So we just had to change the mindset. So that's all. Um, yeah, Cornelio, <laughs> like I just, you know, just asked Dr. Nam. Uh, you know, you guys tells everybody out after that first whistle in the second half. And you kind of, you guys come in. You know, do you find, do you feel like, you know, He's looking for you for that energy, for you know, for that second unit. I think all of us, not just one particular player, but all of us. Yeah. Uh, I you know, obviously injuries are um, part of the sport, and I don't want to make too much of it. But I mean, was there was it emotional? Um, just what was it kind of like? I guess. Um, no, I, I think. My emotions were. <laughs> um, I, I was. I, I didn't get too emotional until I, I guess the game actually started, and um, I was pretty mellow before the game because I didn't know how to feel. It was, it was just a feeling of a long time coming, and then I started to get in my own head, and then it was at that point where it was, you know, the ball's up in the air, and it's just time to play. And I worked hard for eight months. My teammates helped me out, the coaching staff, the training staff, they helped me out tremendously. So I knew all I had to do was just trust myself and trust my team, and I know it was going to be all good. You guys have found, obviously, they found ways to win, you know, without you and, and ways to score and ways for kind of the offense to run. Um, how challenging is it to kind of get back and fit in, I, I guess, while also kind of trying to be the go-to player that you were? I mean, well, that's what great teams do. They find a way to win when missing when you're missing pieces. So me just coming back, I'm just trying to find the flow and let the game come to me and just help my team anyway if I'm not scoring and rebounding. And, you know, just different things in the game. There's other ways you can help your team other than scoring. Any nerve? I mean, as far as worries about the knee, I mean, were you, was it totally out of your mind as far as worried about it, or are there moments that you kind of get a little freaked yeah. out? No, I didn't, I didn't have any worries. Um, I was just making sure I did the right thing and just making sure I come off two feet and just do the normal things that I've done in rehab and in practice. So it was just there for me in the game. Brittany, you know, you know, what, what did Q kind of say to you guys at halftime? Like he said it was a really sluggish first half, and you kind of see it by the scoreboard. You know, what kind of did he say to you, and what changed in that second half for you guys to go on that run? Well, for us to pick it up. That was the main thing. For us to pick up our energy, uh, pick up our defense, pick up our offense, but especially on defense because we were letting them get the ball to the middle too much, and they were shooting threes, and they were making them. And uh, we just had to defend the arc and just play hard and play together. And did you feel like that was, you know, that was, that didn't really translate in that first, you know, before the first whistle when he took everybody, he took all five of you guys out? Well, I mean, it was a possession where they had too many offensive rebounds and people weren't crashing. Um, so, I, I, you know, he get, he would get frustrated with us not having our effort when he just told us in the locker room to crash the boards and play hard. So, yeah. You guys were trailing at the half. I mean, do you like that you came back in a game where pedal to the metal right away? You guys were challenged early on. Do you think that'll help you down the road? <laughs> um, I think it would, personally. Um, I think all we have to do is play our game in the first half and not the second half. I guess we ought to 
you know what I'm saying, what we did in the first, in the second half, do it in the first half instead of just waiting until the second half to play. Anything else, guys? said he couldn't sleep last night. Um, <laughs> you coming back and thinking about how he was going to fit you in and that sort of thing. I, I take it your night wasn't like that? <laughs> um... No, I actually slept like a baby, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it, it was it was pretty settling. I was more anxious the day of the game. I went to sleep with an easy mind knowing I was coming to play tomorrow. I mean, I, I mean he's a, a head coach, so I just figure out how to fit another play into the rotation. So. He never sleeps. Oh, yeah. No, you never sleeps. That's so pretty normal huh? for him. Oh, was up? I was anxious. Yeah. yeah, he never sleeps. Yeah. That's, ask him next he time. Sleep. He never sleeps. When did, you, uh, when did you find out you were coming back, like, officially? Mm-hmm. When did you find out you were, like, going to officially be able to play? Um, well, uh, <laughs> I can tell. Okay. So, uh, um, the process was uh, I saw the doctor on the 5th of December, and um, he said I was cleared to, to go, but I could not play until the 28th. Um, the 24th makes the 8th month mark, and that was from the beginning back after surgery that we talked about coming back in the eight to nine month mark. So the 24th of December obviously made the eight month mark and the 28th of December was, will be my first game. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.